Congrats on the win, Pablo. Um, after that, it, it was it was a later goal than you, maybe you had hoped for. But even after that, it seemed like you guys had a couple of chances. Did you almost think you might get a second one there in the last few minutes? Um, yeah, I mean, one of the things I think we took away early early on in the season was we want to keep playing the same way and, and just be on the front foot. And um, I think the guys took that on, um, and they've been doing a great job of that as of late. Um, and I think there was a second one in there, but tonight the ball just, it, you know, if it didn't hit off the post, it just took a strange bounce in your goal. Um, but again, super happy with the way uh, we're defending as a team, and that's keeping us in games. Um, and, and you're not always going to have your best stuff, as, as we didn't have tonight. But um, getting results is, is um, just the, the mindset that the guys came out with in the second half. Um, I thought was fantastic, and, and when you're not playing your best, you got to still get points. And so tonight was a it was a big result for us. You guys kind of had some different substitution patterns tonight, bringing on Luna at the half, a couple other changes in there. With with Wednesday's Open Cup game looming as well, how are you feeling about kind of the rotations and personnel that you've that you've got available right now? Yeah, we're going to be under it a little bit. Um, obviously, Vera suspended um, f for that game. Um, you know, Alex has been playing a ton of minutes. To this point, um, the, you know, a couple of Monarchs players are definitely going to be featuring in, in this game for us um, who have been training with us and doing a good job. Um, but, you know, we want to, we, we, you know, we, we have five games, I think, um, to, to, to get to the final, if not, you know, win the thing. So we want to put our best foot forward and make sure we surround those guys with some good experienced pros, um, all the while trying to give some guys some, some playing time that haven't been able to. We got a real busy month. Um, so there's there's a lot of balls to juggle at the moment with uh, with all the different situations um, and, and with the game at the weekend with LA Galaxy and who's available for that. You know, Vera suspended for that game as well. Um, so, um, you know, we'll, we'll sit back tonight and kind of drop the game plan uh, with guys that are available. And then uh, lastly for me, you guys kind of struggled the times at home last season with the 0-0 draw in the last game at home and then struggling to score early on in this game. Um, did it feel good to just get, get that win at home? Yeah, it really did. You know, again, I think we had, we had a few good chances in the first half, you know, Jay Glads and, and Andres is in particular. Um, and then the second half, obviously, you know, uh, uh, Andres hitting the post. Um, some, some weird ones where they're running, the ball's running to the end line and, and we just can't get a hold of it. But... I think the most important thing is getting the result, um, and uh, and the guys played a fantastic second half to be able to do that. Pablo Sporting had given up 11 goals in four games in April. Did you see something different from them defensively tonight? I, you know, I think they they dropped into a deeper block and asked. You know, most teams um, like to get out and press, and so when we break break the first line, we're basically going five v four. Um, to goal. I think tonight they did a really good job of cl clogging the middle midfield and asking us to, 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 to really penetrate the wide areas. The one thing I would say is, uh, you know, I think our rotation with the ball was really slow at times. Um, and, and that's one thing that we've been working on and we'll get better at. Um, but, but I think they just did a really good job of getting numbers behind the ball and, and looking to counter. Um, and then, you know, credit to the guys in the back who did a good job, I felt like, in particular in the second half of really and, and one of the adjustments we made is making sure that we, we dealt with um, the guys that were behind the ball for them and making sure our rest defense was really good so that we can keep the pressure on in the attacking half. And, you know, I thought Diego came in and, 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 and really gave the team a good spark with the ball. I felt like in the first half we just weren't able to settle the ball. Um, and given that he would only trained one day this week, um, you know, wanted to make sure that uh, he was coming into a game in a way that uh, – suits his progress with, with two more games looming, but I thought he did a really good job tonight. In his current form, is Chicho just a massive security blanket? Yeah, I mean, if you ask the guys in the back, then, uh, you know, it's it's amazing when you know if you keep zeros that you're going to get a great chance, for, you know, and, and Chicho's is, is what he does. You know, he's a killer in front of goal. Um, and, and again, it's, it's a tough burden to carry uh, that type of responsibility, but he's been doing it to this point. And the expectations he's going to continue doing it. You don't like to be too results driven, but do you think the performance has matched the shutouts you've seen? Because you've your team's only given up one goal in the last four games. Um, yeah, no, I think we've 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 done a great job. You know, before the game, I actually showed him a Man City clip uh, too, actually, um, and I talk about this is the best football playing team in the world, and then I showed him two defensive clips. Right, this is what wins. This is what wins. 
if you can if you can stop teams getting good chances, if your rest defense is high level, you have a chance to be in every game. Um, and so, and it takes the team. It's not just the guys in the back. It's the guys in the middle that that make you know that that clog holes. It's the guys up front that make the play predictable. And as a collective, that's got to be our staple. Whilst being exciting, entertaining, and, and being productive on the attacking end as well. Congratulations. Uh, three wins in a row. You haven't lost since March seven uh, for seven games. Where have you seen the most improvement, or where are you most proud about the improvement on the team so far this season? And where do you continue to want to see some improvement? Yeah, I, I would say for, for us, it's really in every phase of the game, whether it's in the attacking side, defensive side, or either transition, I, I think you can always improve. You know, um, I would say for me, it's, 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 you know, the most important things is keeping the ball out and, and, and putting them in. And, and I think we've been able to do that in this run. Um, and, and that, again, if you're, if you're scoring goals, but you're leaking a lot, you're not going to be a great team. Um, and, and vice versa. So for me, it's continuing to, to, to really work on all faces. Like I said earlier in our build, it's, it's really important that we move the ball quicker. If we want to shift, if we want to create an advantage by shifting the ball, if not, we're just, we're just passing it sideways just to pass it sideways. Uh, I think defensively, um, we, it, you know, in the first half, we didn't get really good pressure on the ball. Our shape was a little bit uh, messed up. Um, that didn't allow anyone to take their cues from the guys up front. I think we tightened that up in the second half. Um, and in transition, the one thing in attacking transition, our ability to really drive with the ball and commit numbers versus just bringing the team up. And so we're looking for an opportunity to score first, and then we're bringing in uh, the rest of the group to set up our attacking structure. So it's, I, I think it's been really good. Uh, I think it can get much better. The Katranis Hidalgo sub, was that a necessity from the knock earlier in the first half, or was that uh, tactical? It's, yeah, it's a little bit of both, right? So Katranis and Vera were on yellow cards. And, um, uh, you know, and Vera got a, you know, a silly yellow card. Um, so he's out next week and midweek. Um, and then I think the most important thing is, is to try to keep as much consistency in the group as possible. I think Alex has been fantastic to this point. He got knocked two or three times. He's been dealing with an ankle for about a month and a half now. And I just felt like I didn't want to play with fire by keeping him on, having him get another yellow card. Um, so it was, it was that, that was really the decision so that he's available uh, you know, for the next couple games. And in, in our league, you have a three game um, stretch where if you don't get a yellow card in those three games, they, they rescind one of them. Um, and that's what I'm hoping for. Pablo back here. Can you see me yep. in the dark? Yep. Sorry. Um, I just am cur you were just kind of mentioning how defense wins games, or at least how you have showed your guys defensive plays. And at the end there, I saw you at the very end, like game's over. You had your arm around Justin Glad, and it seemed like just a really cool moment between you two. Um, he kind of took a breath and put his arm back around you. So I was just wondering, what was it that you were saying to him? Because obviously he's on that defensive side that led to your guys' success. Yeah, you know, he said uh, it, it wasn't our best. He says, but we found a way. And he, and he said to me, he says, man, if, if we keep zeros, we know that Chicho is going to knock one in. And so I think it's that level of belief in, in, in the group that where if we just do a really good job defensively, we know that Andres, Luna, Fidel, Chicho, um, Crooks, we're, 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 we're going to get looks on goal, and we just got to finish them. And so, again, I think for me it's really awesome um, when guys take pride in their jobs. And, and one of the things I always talk to the guys about is um, there's no, no one in – when I talk to the players, I always say it's not your responsibility to win the game. It's your responsibility to do your job. And if we have 11 guys doing their job, we put ourselves in a great, great – position to win the game. I stole that from Belichick, by the way. It's not. <laughs> you want to do English or Spanish? Uh, you can do English first. Be good. OK. Um, so I recently talked to Glatt, and he was telling us how the relationship with Vera is really good for him, because Vera is more of a physical guy, and that's Glatt read the game. But how do you come to put those two together, or what was your idea behind putting them together? Well, I think, again, I think one of the things that we looked at for the last couple of years is, is having a left-footed player on that side of the field. And I, I think these players are very hard to find anywhere in the world because if they're, if they're technically, if they're, if they're good technically and they're good defending, 
and um, and they're tough, like Vera is. It's it's just a very hard position to find. And when we when we you know scouted Vera, he had all the attributes that we were looking for. He's played a lot of left back when he was younger, um, so he's comfortable driving with the ball. He can find passes. He's actually a fantastic cross with the ball as well. But when you bring his toughness to our back line, especially with Katranas next to him, it's a really tough back, you know, left side of the back of the back line to kind of penetrate. And so, um, and and like you rightly said, I think Jay Glad compliments Vera's. You know, Jay Glad's great in the air. He's he's super fast, um, and and will cover for Vera when Vera steps into the midfield to make a play. And so the two of them have formed a fantastic partnership and have been um, a, a, an integral part of of what we've been able to do so far this year. And my last question is still talking about the defense. We've seen Sack being very comfortable with the ball on his feet. We saw it today a couple of times when he was asking for it. And we, at least I like to say that you have this format where you're attacking from the back as well. Uh -huh. yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit more from that? Yeah, so, you know, I, I think for us, um, and, and really in the modern game, is having a goalkeeper that's comfortable with the ball brings a lot of confidence to the guys, whether they're the midfielders coming to get it or center backs that are you know, uh, starting the attack. Um, and, and I feel like uh, the calm that the goalkeeper has on the ball it exudes to the rest of the group. Um, and, and again, it allows Emeka and Brian to get in good positions to receive from Zach. It allows Vera and, and Glad to play off of them. It's something that we really hit on hard in the preseason um, and we'll continue to get better at it. Um, and in the ga game Gavin played in Chicago, I thought I did a really good job as well. And so it's something that we ask of our goalkeepers. And, um, you know, again, like you rightly pointed out, attack always starts with the back. And if it's calm and sharp from the back, chances are it's going to work its way through midfield that way and it's going to work its way to good opportunities on the, uh, on the final line. Hey, Pablo, congratulations on the win. Um, it, it seemed like in the first half, Gomez didn't receive the ball a whole bunch. Uh, if it seemed like Kansas City was shifting that way a lot to deny service to him. What did you do in the second half? Was there anything specific that you did to try to enable him? More? Yeah, I, well, I think it was more, we, we just had a lot of um, interesting rotations uh, that weren't necessarily prescribed, um, which is always uh, the difficulty when you allow for creative expression, um, but so, too much flexibility then starts to compromise the structure. Um, so at times, Chicho was rolling out really wide. Andres was coming inside because he wasn't finding space. And, and, and so at halftime, it was really about just getting back to our structure and occupying the spaces that will ask a lot of questions of the defense. Um, and then it's decision making. I, I felt like we didn't play uh, Andres as much in the first half. In the second half, I felt like we found him quite a bit. But I think we can still find him more. Um, and, and I think in the first half as well is, when, when he was on the ball, some of the decisions led to counterattacks the other way. And so then the thought from a teammate would be, well, I don't want to lose it again, so I'm going to look, look him off and, and go the other way with it. So it's, it's all it's part tactical, but it's also part emotional in, in, in that moment where you're, you know, we lost quite a few balls in the first half in the middle midfield that, that sprung counterattacks going the other way. And I think in the second half, second half, we did a much better job of being more ball secure of being more patient um, and making better decisions when, when we receive the ball. Pablo, ¿qué tanto falta le va a hacer Brian Vera el partido de Galaxy especialmente uh, por su suspensión? ¿Cómo? De nuevo, por favor. Uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué tanto falta le va a hacer Brian Vera en el partido de sábado? Eh, claro, para mí el, el Vera es uno de los mejores centrales eh, del lado izquierda. Yo creo que eh, trajimos un jugador nuevo en Philip Quinton. Y yo creo que cuando jugó contra Chicago, los 20 minutos que jugó, jugó bastante bien. Está esperando un, una oportunidad. Yo creo que esta es este va a ser la oportunidad para competir con... con el Jay Glad y Vera y vamos a ver y yo creo que en el partido contra Chicago también jugamos con dos uh, laterales por el medio y el resultado fue 4 a 0 así ojalá tenemos el mismo resultado muy físico uh, cómo ayuda a los jugadores a mantener la calma especialmente cuando las uh, las pitadas no fueran uh, favorables a ellos sí uh, hablamos recién en el vestuario y lo, lo que dijo 
el chicho, porque después de todos los triunfos hablan los jugadores. Cuando empatamos o, eh, 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 o perdemos el partido, hablo yo. Y lo que dijo el chicho fue que la mentalidad fue buenísimo en el segundo tiempo. O sea, el primer tiempo no jugamos bastante bien y no, no recibimos muchas, uh, no cobró muchas uh, fulls en, en nuestro favor, pero la mentalidad del, del grupo fue, tenemos que hacer lo que sea para ganar este partido. Y esa mentalidad del capitán es, eh, es como una vibración al, al grupo y todos lo sienten y... Eh, yo creo que jugaron bastante bien, en el, mejor en el segundo tiempo y, y eso es lo más importante cuando las cosas no, no te van, eh, no te salen, es cómo puedo ayudar al equipo en este momento y, y yo para mí lo hicieron en el segundo tiempo. Questions. The first one was how big of a miss will Brian Vera be versus LA next week? Um, and the second one was the match was very physical. Like, what did you do to combat that? Just to summarize his um, answers as well. Uh, Brian Vera will obviously be a big miss, but they recently signed Philip Quinton from Columbus, and he's just kind of been waiting for all the opportunity to play. Um, this next match will be the opportunity for him. Um, that the 20 minutes he played against Chicago uh, looked very good, and that they played with two outside backs as center backs for Chicago, and they won 4-0. So he has confidence in his back line, but the team's mentality has just been that they need to find a way to win regardless of how the other team plays. Um, and that it kind of stems from Chicho's captainship, um, his attitude and mentality, and the guys just feed off of that. Oh, Pablo, me gustaría preguntarte, ya en inglés hicieron algunas preguntas con respecto a eso, pero eh, sobre el tema defensivo del equipo. A mí lo que me sorprende un poco más es de que los nombres no han cambiado mucho en la saga central y los resultados han mejorado. Si bien Vera llegó un poco tarde la temporada pasada, creo que este año defensivamente Glad, Vera, eh, Brody, los que han tocado jugar, Catranes incluso, que es la incorporación, han rendido de buena manera. ¿Qué hiciste tú, qué modificaste para que los resultados defensivos sean mejores sin tener que hacer mucho cambio en jugadores? Yo creo que son dos cosas. Primero, yo creo que el esfuerzo de, de, de los jugadores más adelante, el Crooks, el Chicho, el, el, el Ando, hacen que la jugada es más predecible. O sea, la presión que estamos poniendo para iniciar la defensa es mejor que el año pasado. Eh, y eso para mí, el, el, ahora no da la oportunidad para, para que el Ojeira sale un po del medio para ayudar con la presión. Cuando ya se hace predecible la jugada, sale el Ojeira. Y eso son las do, do, dos cosas de, de esa parte. Pero más yo creo que estamos presionando todos los saques de meta que tienen lo, lo, el equipo rival y, y eh, pasamos mucho tiempo en la semana trabajando en eso porque si podemos ganar la pelota de un saque de meta ahora estamos 50 metros de, de, del arco y eso también nos ha ayudado la última es eh, cómo queremos jugar es cuando perdemos el balón tenemos mejores reacciones y, y Va, y pre, el, el jugador más cerca presiona el balón y yo creo que como, como un grupo cuando perdemos el balón estamos más enchufados este año que el año pasado y las tres cosas yo creo que eh, el trabajo de, de, de Vera y Glad es, es fundamental pero yo creo que cuando se hace la, la jugada más predecible el trabajo de ellos se hace más fácil translate the question, the question was that the defensive results have been a lot better this year, but there haven't been a lot of changes name-wise within the back line. Uh, what changes have Pablo made or modifications to kind of get better results defensively? Um, his answer was that it's not really, it's kind of a whole collective team effort, that it starts with the guys up front and the midfield kind of making the play predictable for the guys behind them. Um, and also kind of just the partnership that Vera and Glad have together has been fundamental and just the communication between them. Bueno, y la última. Uh, Vemos que en la parte alta, tanto de goleadores como asistidores, está Messi, Suárez, pero también ahí está Chicho. Creo que eh, se habla mucho eh, de Chicho en cuanto a su rendimiento individual, tanto en lo goleador como en lo colectivo, pero cuando él no mete goles y asistencias también aporta mucho al juego del Real Salt Lake. Como capitán y también a ti que te gusta mucho hablar sobre la mentalidad, ¿cómo lo has visto a él desde el principio de la temporada para poder mostrar los números que ha mostrado hasta ahora? Eh, mira, yo creo que eh, este año cuando mirá el vestuario eh, hay, hay, es, el, es el líder del grupo y cómo entrena. 
cómo ayuda el equipo, aporta al equipo de, de la manera de asistencias y, y goles. Eh, lucha en todos los entrenamientos. O sea, es, es, es un jugador, una persona que eh, lo quiere seguir hasta el fin del mundo. Porque es el ejemplo todos los días. Y también, como, como no hay tantos veteranos en el, en el grupo, eh, ahora, este, el año pasado... No tenía mucha, mucha voz en el vestuario porque, claro, era nuevo. Tuvimos el, el Saba, el, el Dami, habían otros jugadores con, con un poco de liderazgo. Y cuando se fueron, abrió un, un hueco para, para que pudiera hablar, comunicar con los compañeros. Y, es, y por eso es tan fundamental para este grupo. Y ahora hay que encontrar momentos durante el campeonato donde no, no lo podemos sacar de un partido porque en este momento no, no, no ha salido, el primer partido jugó 80 minutos, pero los lo retos ha jugado 90, y es imposible que un jugador siga en ese, en, en, con, con, ese, con ese paso para adelante, y ten, lo tenemos que cuidar y darle descanso cuando podemos. So the question was, Chicho is kind of up there with the big names in the MLS, with Suarez, Messi, like what has he seen from Chicho this season? that has allowed him to get there. And he says that he's just a leader for the team, his hard work at practice, that the boys um, in the locker room would follow him to the end of the world because that's just an example and energy that he sets for the team. But also just how the way he helps the team with his goals um, and his assist. Um, and that they need to find matches where they're more comfortably leading at the end so Chicho can come off because he's been playing a lot of minutes. Uh, only in the first game versus Miami did he come off for the last 10. But other than that, he's been playing full 90s and they, they need to take care of him. Thanks, Paul. All right, guys, thank you.